22-inch python. Well, we're supposed to have a match. Billy Graham coming over here. How you doing, brother? I want you to know that you have sitting next to you George Napolitano, the world's greatest wrestling photographer on the face of the earth and the greatest editorial, wrestling editorial, most knowledgeable man in all of professional wrestling, the greatest professional scholar in all of wrestling, Mr. George Napolitano. Really do. Okay, George. Hey, he had a lot of fine words to say about you. He must read all your magazines. I think he does. <laughs> I've seen him. Oh, I can't tell you how many times well, through the years. Well, you're like me, you know, you've seen, I've seen, and also he was in the World's Strongest Man contest yeah. some years ago. Did very well till he hurt his back, couldn't compete. Yeah. And he still looks good today. He does, he? and he's stronger than ever. 22 inch pythons, and listen to the crowd here. They love him. Well, it wasn't always that way. That's true, <laughs> you're right. For some years there, he probably was one of the most hated wrestlers in professional wrestling. If I can take you back, I guess April 30th, 1977, he won the world's title from Bruno San Martino. That's right. He's the one who took out the living legend. The living legend, and he was hated then. He was that. But it's a complete turnaround now, and I think uh, this is something that uh, superstar Graham has uh, come to uh, enjoy. You can really? See it. Yeah. He likes this fan admiration, and, and any wrestler who says they don't, has got to be lacking some pride in themselves somewhere. And what a match we've got here as Graham has really taken it to the Scorpion. Nice arm bar, reverse arm bar. He's got it down across the thigh, really applying the pressure to the upper arm. But it's amazing how he can stay in such condition for so long. Oh, yeah. Just, he's always been that way. Uh, I can remember uh, when I had. Uh, seen him in other uh, areas down throughout the southeast the mid-atlantic states when i would be announcing shows through there and his body has not aged at all has never changed he has m maintained his physique throughout the years well that's hard work he goes to i know in new york the mid-city gym all the time whatever mm -hmm. wherever he is he makes sure he finds the gym is the first thing he does that's right and a real health food and i don't want to say a health food nut so, but he really yeah. is eats a lot of fruits a lot of fiber a lot of uh, complex carbohydrates we were talking about diet earlier tonight. Uh, I'd lost a lot of weight and not wanted to, and now I need to gain it back. And we were talking about what I could do that was safe to gain it back. So it's, it's good, you know, and that's the way he maintains himself. Now, of course, I've had people questioning me about the earrings and so forth in the ring. To me, that would be a hindrance, but he's learned to wrestle with them. And I guess it has some effect on his opponent. You would think you want to pull the earring off. Yeah, you know, or maybe dangle it in his, uh, his opponent's face or something. It reminds me of Killer Kowalski when he oh. bit, uh, bit off Yukon Eric's ears. So That's right. Well, that was some years ago. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I... No, I know. I heard about it as a kid. I remember watching it, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Scorpion going to the eyes of Superstar Graham, and that will slow any wrestler down. I don't care how great he is. Staggered him on that one. He did that. Goes right to the legs. Uh-oh. Ah, questions the fans whether or not he ought to stomp him. I don't think he'll do it uh, illegally. If anything, he'd probably go to the midsection and go to the uh, FEMA area. Whips the scorpion into the turnbuckles. There are the pythons in that big bear hug, George. The superstar bear hug right there. There it is. It's a patented hole. It usually will finish any opponent, and it does to the uh, scorpion. Wait a minute. Graham's still holding on. Just to show him a little bit of what the pythons are like. I hate to say that Graham want to punish him because he really, I've never seen him do that too often. Let's go up to the ring for the official announcement. The time, five minutes, 37 seconds for the submission hold. The winner, superstar Billy Graham. There you see those 22 inch pythons. As he makes his way out of the ring. George, I'm gonna see if I can have a few words perhaps with him before he makes his way back to the dressing room. Let me see if I can get you over. I want to have a couple of words with you. We're watching that match with the Scorpion and the 22-inch Python. 24-inch Pythons. 24-inch Pythons. Pythons. They've grown a little bit. And we're talking about both George and I have watched you wrestle for a number of years and how well you've stayed in shape. Your physique has always been maintained to the finest. That's it, baby. Got to take care of your soul. Got to take care of your flesh. Superstar Billy Graham is only now starting to peek out. 
Superstar Billy Graham is only now getting stronger. Never felt better. Never looked better. Never had more charisma. Never had more color. Uh -huh. Never had more excitement. Never loved the people more. Superstar Billy Graham. Arm. Never been stronger. Still, the arm wrestling champion of the free world. Still, the man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour, got more moves than a bowl of jello. I love you, Superstar. All right. Coming up next, our main event for the evening, Malachi versus Justin Carino. Tommy Savoldi. Here she comes. Oh, and boy. Here he comes. Malachi. The great Malachi. You know, they say they're from the Never Void. Where is the Never Void? You know, I looked it up on Google Maps. I didn't find it. I, I, never Void. Look at this guy. I mean, this guy never seems to amaze me. Any guy that would walk out and set himself on fire. And then you look, look at, at this. Cheyenne. She's smearing blood all over him. This is a interesting this couple. Is I tell you, you know, they really believe, they, well, they know. They know that they, they are the epitome of evil. Well, you set yourself on fire like that, would you argue? And smear blood all over your chest? Are you going to argue that fact? No, I'm not going to argue with it. Okay. Not me. Okay, I'm just checking. Make sure. No, that, you know, no, no. Because if you were going to argue, I'd have to maybe check you into an insane asylum. Again. And I'll tell you what, that Cheyenne looks like she could take on anybody, male or female. He's still on fire. Oh, yeah. He's still, like, you know, like, <laughs> burning. Look at this. <laughs> and it doesn't bother him a little bit? No. Nothing. Nothing. Just sitting there and looking down. He's like, yeah, I'm on fire, and what's the big deal? <laughs> well, he's got he's got some interesting competition tonight. There he is, and Juicy he is. Justin Carino. Juicy Justin Carino. I tell you, he is a uh, he's a young lion. I tell you, very capable. He's, uh, he's pretty new to the NWA, but I, I've seen him wrestle, and I'm very impressed with him so far. Well, he's not really that new, T. He's been around a while. He's okay. kind of been around since NWA originated right here in Maine. Okay. Uh, on and off. Mm -hmm. uh, he just made his comeback a few months back. Well, I've seen him so far, and I'm very impressed with what he's done so far. This is going to be a true test for him, though. And they're pretty well matched up physically. And that test is named Malachi. And as I always say, Tommy, you know what? You got Shine outside. This might as well be a handicap match. Oh, yeah, it is a handicap match. He, he, <laughs> stick he's around if you don't believe me. Just stick around. Oh, yeah, You'll stick see around, I mean. folks. You'll see what he's talking about. And Malachi gets him into the corner. Comes out. Interesting. Clean break. Clean break. Interesting clean break there. Because Malachi is known to take a couple shots uh, on, on the way More than a couple. And brings him over. Big takedown by Juicy Justin. I think that was a two-point takedown there on uh, Justin Carino's part. Malachi is hanging on to that head, though. 